Good morning, everyone. This lesson is going to be about reflections over the line y equals x or the line y equals negative x. These are the diagonal lines. So let's just start with examples. Instead of having you do an example and try to figure out what the rule is, I went ahead and just gave us the rule already. So the rule is when you're reflecting over the line y equals x, your point, you're just going to flip the numbers. Now, y equals x is the diagonal line. Let's use yellow. Is the diagonal line this way, diagonal line going up. So we're going to reflect over this line by switching our numbers. So see how the x now becomes the second number and the y becomes the first number? So with this point x, we're going to switch. Instead of it being negative 3, 1, we are going to have 1, comma, negative 3. And let's draw that point, 1, comma, negative 3, right here. That's going to be our x prime. So if I switch the numbers on y, instead of being 1, 4, it's going to turn into 4, 1. So y prime is going to be 4, 1, right here. And then last but not least, the point z was 3, 2. But if they switch places, that's going to turn into 2, comma, 3. So let me connect these points. Um, let me connect them better than that, actually. Okay, and that's what our figure looks like reflected over the y equals x line. Let's do another example. So same thing, I want to reflect over the line y equals x. So that's the diagonal line that goes up. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch places for each point. So point D is a negative 3, negative 3. So when they switch places, it still is negative 3, negative 3. So D is the same as D prime. Okay, point E. For E prime, it's going to be negative 2, comma 3, which is up here. And last, for point F, F prime will be 0, comma, negative 2. So right here. So let's connect these points. And that is our new image. That is the pre-image flipped over y equals x. So there is a diagonal going the other direction. So what if I wanted to reflect over the line y equals negative x? That's the diagonal that starts at the top and goes down. So the rule for this one is you are still going to switch places. See how the y becomes first and x is the last number? But this time you're going to change the sign of both numbers. So for point P, I have negative 4, negative 3. So if they switch places, it's going to be negative 3, negative 4. But then I want to change the signs as well. So they are both going to become positive. So that point is going to turn into... 3, comma, 4. 3, 4. P 
prime. Okay, for Q prime, same rule. Switch places and change the signs of both of them. So this one is going to be kind of a trick question here. But positive 3 is going to go first. Negative 3 is going to go second if they switch places. But then because we're changing the signs of them as well, this positive 3 in the front is going to turn negative. And the negative 3 is going to turn positive. So it actually came out to be the same exact point. So Q prime is on top of Q. And last but not least, let's try to find where R prime should be. The negative 1 and the 2 switch places, but then you change their sign. So this will be negative 2, positive 1. So R prime, then let's connect our dots. And that is triangle PQR reflected over the diagonal Y equals negative X. Let's do one more example. Reflect over the line Y equals negative X. So again, this is that diagonal that starts on the top and goes through the origin to the bottom. We are switching places here. So for point L, instead of being negative 2, 4, we're going to switch them and change their signs. So L prime is going to be at the point negative 4, positive 2. L prime. Okay, for M, to find M prime, switch places and change their signs. So it's going to be at the point negative 1, negative 2. And the last vertex of this triangle, we are switching the numbers and changing the sign. So N prime is going to be at positive 3, positive 4. Let's connect our vertex. And that is triangle LMN reflected over the diagonal line y equals negative x.